Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the second Monday, uh, 13 Jan. Quiet overnight. Um, after a little bit of risk off there on Friday, we, we did talk about um, short S&Ps as a trade. We're square again. Um, and we're moving on to other things today. We also talked about Euro dollar, which was uh, bullish engulfing above 20. We didn't quite get the powerful bar that you would like on that. You got a bit of a tail, um, and you almost engulfed the, the Doji the day before, but it was pretty bullish. And now that we're now that we're trading up at 31, um, you know, looks looks set for some some consolidation higher. But nothing crazy, right? You're dead middle of the range, fall, and the euro is 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 crushed. Um, so we're not too uh, we're not too worried about euro. Dollar yen um, didn't fifty sixty four fourteen point range, so no drama here. We're all just waiting to see what happens at this uh, one oh nine seventy area. We'll call it. I think seventy three is going to be the bingo number on this. Um, <laughs> I've never really seen a a, um, a range edge break possible break like this unless you're unless there's um, options expiries or some sort of derivative being protected here. I can't really describe or or begin to fathom um, why this keeps holding 6970 and there's just no energy around. Um, this price. I mean, I guess there's no energy around this price just because of vol, but it's an important moment here. Um, dollar yen, euro yen also is coming up on some important moments. Um, 122.50 and 122.65, very important. Uh, so if this risk on continues, um, this may attract. Uh, we'll have to see. Dollar Swiss, we've been trying to be long um, basically all year, uh, has done nothing. We're just sitting down here at the range lows. Can we clear 33 today? I don't know. Um, 109.60 is more important. I don't know why I'm mentioning Dollar Swiss. The vol there is, is also just criminally low. Uh, so you got some bearish uh, news flow and cable gapped open. Uh, 55 was the close. We, we kind of opened around 30. Uh, we're not really doing too much, but we had some BOE chatter about uh, lowering rates. Carney on his way out was also talking about the possibility of lowering rates. Um, you just get the feeling the BOE is a little bit worried about the path towards Brexit and the um, sort of the, the sparring that's going to be going on and sort of the weak position <clears throat> that the UK holds going into this negotiation. Um, for those of you who are from the UK who think you're not in a weak position, um, it seems odd, uh, but perhaps, perhaps you're right. We get a few DMs from people um, with some wild ideas about... Uh, Boris Johnson's negotiating ability and and the value of the United Kingdom within Europe. Uh, I would say that's um, based on a fair bit of hyperbole, but uh, that's just me. We've had some uh, SCOM news in South Africa and the usual BS. Uh, Rand weekend on Friday. Here we are. Not much to do here. Uh, there will be resistance up at 50. While we're risk on, there will be some buyers of emerging market currencies. So uh, we're just going to sit tight, not to worry too much about uh, dollar rand. Aussie's getting into um, the sell zone here. Uh, we talked about it Thursday last week. Squeeze looked inevitable, especially with that bid down there at 
Uh, today we're sellers of this stuff uh, between 20 and 50. 69.20 and 69.50. As you can see, 19.9 was the high. Uh, and for those inquiring minds, uh, no, we did not get paid at 20, which is annoying. Dollar CAD, not much to say. A lot of push and pull, tug of war. Um, you know, did peak of peak up above uh, 131. Uh, Wednesday, uh, Thursday last week. Now we're just sort of stuck here in the middle. Uh, not much to say. Aussie's cousin, the Kiwi. Looks like it's going to float higher, a little bit higher. We don't really have um, a strong idea in Kiwi. Um, gold, in general, we're bearish. Don't have a position. We are long dollar yen, which is basically short gold. So that kind of is what it is. Be nice um, for the bears if you can get below 1541. S&P's put in a bearish day on Friday, and it was just it was a pretty simple sell. It was just a stretch sell, right? I mean, up in the 80s, you're now like, okay, we're 100 handles higher in three days. You can probably just sell this as a trade, which is what we did. Um, we weren't crazy bears. We weren't looking for bearish engulfing, although it did almost bearish engulf. Uh, now today we're back at 74. Uh, stretch highs today uh, are up at 3,300. So between 98 and 08, um, if we see it up there, we will be sellers just as a trade for uh, S&Ps. Not really much else to say. Uh, let's look at the calendar here real quick uh, on what looks like to be a quiet Monday. We got uh, manufacturing production out of the UK, retail sales out of Italy, current account out of Turkey, no one cares, balance of trade out of UK, still don't care. GDP out of UK, but it's November, don't care. Mm, some Mexican crap. Uh, not really too much going on today, I have to say. The BOC Business Survey. Uh, kind of care about that, but it's not really a foreign exchange mover. Um, that's out at 4.30 p.m. today. Looks to be a quiet day. Uh, no real triggers for volatility lingering out there. We're all just watching this dollar yen 109.70. We're keeping an eye on the stock market. Quickly on fixed income. Um, we're still bearish boons. Uh, not much going on. Volatility super low. Uh, we're also bearish tens. Again, not much going on here. We're really you really want to wait before you start putting the hammer down. And this will be news driven if it happens. It'll be inflation driven if it happens. Um, 127, 28 in the 10s. All right, as you can see, not too, too much to say. As, we're, as we mentioned, we're watching dollar yen. We have a vague eye on um, dollar Swiss and Euro Swiss to see if these things turn, but they're really not that sensitive to risk these days. Um, and we're marginally bullish uh, Euro, marginally bearish Aussie. Good luck out there, people. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.